Hey everybody, I have to fix an annoying electrical issue on my BMW today, and I'm gonna show you the really special tool that I've used for years now to help me fix all sorts of electrical problems on all sorts of cars. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Now here is my power probe. This you've probably seen before in a few videos. It's a really simple looking tool. It hooks up to the power source on your car. You can do it a couple different ways actually. It comes with either a cigarette lighter connector or these alligator clips which can connect to your battery. And then you've also got an extension cable down here in case you need all that extra length. But let me go ahead and show you the basics of this tool. And I also have a couple of test items for us to mess around with right here before we fix the annoying electrical problem on my E90. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is attach my leads to this battery that I have just lying around. This thing is pretty well charged so we should be good to test some items here today. And with the power connected we'll see that the screen lights up and this thing actually has a few different menus here that we can cycle through. The main menu shows us how many volts and we can apply that voltage out. Then you have a volt meter and this also shows us like frequency of pulse width modulation which is actually really handy on a lot of newer cars and then there's an ohm meter and then the settings menu for the sound that comes on when you apply power now it comes with this needle here i guess that's why they call it the power probe and that's what allows you to apply power to a lot of different circuits there's also this little dangling alligator clip here and this is a constant ground from whatever battery source you're connected to so a lot of times when you connect this to the car for example you don't need to use the alligator clip because everything inside the car is hopefully already grounded and you would just apply power to whatever you wanted to test. But since we're going to be bench testing these things today and they're not grounded at all, we're going to have to apply that ground using this alligator clip, which is part of the power probe. So this switch, for example, this is something I got off of Amazon, but this is just a momentary switch. But if this was something inside your car and you wanted to test if it was working or not, what you should do is you should make sure that the switch is grounded. We're going to do that using the alligator clip right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply the power probe to the other end of the switch and you'll see that there is no ground coming through that wire obviously because it's not connected. But when we press this button on the switch, we see that there's a successful ground that comes through and that's indicated on the power probe by the 0.0, .0 volts and then the green light and also the noise. So we're gonna go ahead and test something else and that's gonna be a bulb. So this is gonna be a traditional incandescent or I guess halogen bulb, I guess you'd call it. And you'll see that immediately we get resistance, but when we apply power, the bulb comes on. We also have an LED bulb right here. And what you notice about LED bulbs is that they actually only light up in one direction. So I can apply power to this LED bulb and it won't light up. But if I switch around the orientation of the alligator clip and the power source, it lights up fine. So something to be careful with when you're installing LED bulbs, if you install them the first time and they don't light up, try to turn them around and reinstall them and you might have more luck. So the last thing that we're gonna test is actually a window regulator motor. And this is something that I do all the time in order to get windows out or regulators uninstalled, removed. And it's pretty simple, especially on this motor, there's only two pins, but on some BMW window regulators, there'll be like three or four pins. So you have to be careful which ones you're powering. But in this case, there's just two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and apply the alligator clip ground. And then if I'm very careful, I can go ahead and put the other end of the power probe in. And you see that it's successfully grounded. And then once we go ahead and we try to power it, we get the motor to spin. And if we were to reverse the polarity, we would also get the motor to spin in the opposite direction because this is a window motor, so it's meant to spin in both directions as most electrical motors are. So that's just a few cases of us testing this power probe out. And if you like the tool already, it is down in the description below. I'll have a link to it on Amazon. But now let's go ahead and try to figure out the issue on my BMW. Now the problem here inside my BMW is that the USB charger does not work. We'll go ahead and turn the car on. And when the car is at key position too like that, this thing should get power, but you can see that my USB charger does not light up. There is an LED in there. Now, if I wanted to be sure that it wasn't just the charger that was malfunctioning, I could go ahead and we should have a ground on the outside and also a power in the very center at the bottom. And you see that when we put the power probe at the very center, we don't have any signal, not ground, which means it's not short circuited to ground, but we don't have 
anything, which means it's an open circuit, so possibly a bad fuse. Now on my car and most BMWs for that case, the fuse box is gonna be in the glove box actually. And you can see it right here at the back. There's a little plastic cover here usually, but mine is missing. And what we wanna do is find out which fuse is for the cigarette lighter. And then we want to test that fuse using the power probe, which is gonna make it really easy because we don't have to take the fuse out necessarily. We can just see if power is getting to it and if power is going through it. Now on my car, I was able to figure out that the fuse is gonna be that 15 amp fuse all the way in the corner there. And that's the one that powers all the cigarette lighter and accessories for this car. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my power probe up to one end of the fuse because there's actually an open-ended contact on the back of them just for this purpose. And on one end of the fuse, we have power indicated by the power probe. So now we just need to test the other end to make sure it's getting through the fuse. And you know what? It looks like this is an open circuit, so I can't get any readout. Let's go ahead and pull that fuse out and inspect it. All right, let's take a look at this fuse and we see that is it, it is indeed popped. So let's go ahead and grab a replacement fuse and throw that baby in and hopefully we'll have a working cigarette lighter. Moments later. So we replaced that fuse and now we can go ahead and test this baby for power. There we go, we got some power in the center there. And now we can go ahead and finally, I've been wanting to test this for a while. I'm gonna go ahead and install this little USB adapter right here. Notice the light comes on. And then I can go ahead and install this USB powered Bluetooth adapter. And this thing actually goes right into the auxiliary port for my BMW. So I can go ahead and close the center console now, not have to worry about an auxiliary cord. But the problem that I didn't mention is that my iDrive screen recently stopped working. And I think I know what the problem is because I've seen this before, but let's go ahead and figure out this electrical issue as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and loosen the little screws that hold the screen in. And with those screws removed, we can pretty easily get to the back of this display here. Now there are only two cables on this thing. One of them is an optical cable, which goes to the CCC module. And that's just for, you know, the data output, which tells the screen what to say. The other cable is this harness right here. There's four wires, I believe. And one of them is the power wire. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is tap into the power wire with the power probe, with the key on, and we'll see if it's getting power. And if it is, we know that our screen is dead kaput and we need to get a new one eventually well i think we solved that problem it was just a loose connection for that iDrive retrofit that i made for the screen as you can see it's working now let's go ahead and test out our bluetooth radio so we're gonna go ahead and navigate to the augs input and don't ask me why i have two augs inputs and the bluetooth is already connected to my phone so let's go ahead and see if we have anything Not bad, not bad. So that's gonna conclude our video for today. And I hope you guys learned something about diagnosing electrical problems on your cars. And hopefully if you guys check out this tool, and like I said, I'll put a link to it in the description below. It is very useful when diagnosing electrical problems, it makes things very easy. You don't have to splice into wires. You can kind of just probe into them. And you can also test fuses without even removing them from the fuse box. And as you saw, we fixed two issues on my BMW today. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like or a comment down below let me know if i missed anything and if you're new to the channel subscribe if you haven't yet as always i hope everyone has an amazing day and we'll see you next time